Hey Wilders, today we have the GCI Master Cook Outdoor Folding Portable Camp Table. And I'm gonna show you how I set it up and show you the things I like about it. Um, and there's not much I don't like about it because you can always find something, a way to work around. Actually, when we transport it, it stands up in the back of our uh, SUV. And it fits just like vertical. Has no problem. We do our camp chair, GC Outdoor. Um, camp chair is the same way. They just fold up and we stack them up in the inside of the back of the SUV. So to get it started, one thing I did not like to start out with is the strap that holds everything together. Um, I broke it on the, the first time. And so I just got some survival rope, survival string, and tied off the same place that they had it. Made a little loop, so it just slides around. And I can carry it in where you wanna go. Okay, to set up the table, um, one thing I keep in mind is that the light stand, the lantern stand is on the back side. So I always just spin it around when I go to set it up so that the lamp stand is on the back side. To fold it out, in the bottom and I like to think about it like this counterclockwise start with the bottom shelf on the left hand side and I say that because you can reach both sides of the locking mechanisms on the shelves and everything sets up just so you can reach both sides the right hand side has catch pins so that it supports the weight of what sits on the on the shelf side folds out the really long extended camp table and I enjoy that and then the last is the, the inside shelf and lock it in um, the, the one thing I, I'm not necessarily fond of um, but it's the nature of what this is is it's a little shaky and so when you're scraping off a griddle um, it has a little bit of motion to it, but man, the easiest thing to do is just put your hand on the shelf. You have uh, a non-temperature surface that is right here. You're not going to burn yourself. And I just hold it and scrape off the griddle. And speaking of the griddle, we have a 22-inch 22, 22 uh, Blackstone griddle that we have. And I've seen so many questions, does it fit the griddle? Ours is the 22. I believe they have the 17. So I'm going to show you what we do and where we store our griddle and how we use it. Okay, so for our Blackstone, I keep it in the rear storage and we have our gas fire pit here, Blackstone griddle here. And what I use is I got a cinch strap from Harbor Freight, really cheap. And that's how I pick it up and carry it around. And as you see, it fits perfectly on the table. Blackstone has leveling, leveling feet so you can raise and lower if you need to finalize the level. Get the cinch strap off. One thing about the table is that it has what I call a storage compartment and that's what I use it for. It's actually intended for like a wash bin where you can fill it with water a wash station and I put a strap in it and also the Blackstone cover I just put in there so that it's always there when we get done. And this is just a simple lock latch. But you have plenty of storage on this table. You take Blackstone off to set it up. You can set the top down on the extended table. Set up your griddle, short pan. Propane tank. I set off to the back left of the griddle. Hook everything up and the reason why is because on the gas inlet side, it causes the hose to carve a path out of the way. 
lantern stand extends up, slides out, and you can swing this around to any direction if you got too much light or if you don't want your lantern over the, fire, the heat of the fire. We have a plastic lantern, solar powered, solar rechargeable, and I have an awning clip on it. Great ambient light for your cook area. It's not too bright. Um, it's unaffected by the heat. I mean, we cooked last night. Actually, all the times we cooked, I've never had an issue with this getting hot. So even if it did, you can swing it out of the way and still have plenty of light if you have concerns with the heat. This is a short hang lantern. If you had a longer hang lantern, it would be you know much lower and you have a concern about it. Another thing I like is paper towel holder. So right now it is on the top shelf. It's an elastic bungee type system. I just let it hang, loop through. It's real easy. Hang it on the top, slide it down. Uh, it fits a, it fits a empty roll. It fits a brand new roll. Um, and when you go to tear it off, real simple tear. It has holders for drinks, oils, all of your, whatever you want to put. It has it in all of the cup areas. Every shelf has the paper towel holders at the bottom, even on the other side. Put our plates on the bottom shelf. Um, as, as we prepare to cook, the top shelf is the cook area. Uh, one thing I like is the griddle scraper. You can just slide down. Even when you're not cooking, you can have your spatulas just resting. Um, I enjoy doing that. That's just fun. When I cook, I lay my spatulas point. Um, it keeps the handles from getting burnt. Also keeps the spatulas from getting overheated if you lay them flat. Laying them on, on the edge gives less surface area for it to heat up. This is my prep station where I have a cutting board if I'm cutting chicken or anything else. Um, all of the food prep goes here and get ready, set it on the grill, get to cook. When it gets ready, take the plates off the bottom shelf because this area is now clear. Set the plates up here. Uh, I can fit I can fit five plates very comfortably up here. And these are large size plates. Got a cheap kitchen garbage can, and it just sets up underneath and fits perfect. Ten, um, I believe it's a ten gallon, and you can slide it out, slide it anywhere you want to go. That's our garbage can. You also have a wire rack on the bottom. Take down is just as simple. Fold in your lantern hook. Everything's out of the way. Disconnect all your grill accessories. Again, we have a long area to the right. Blackstone pose. Set inside, catch pan goes in. Remember we have our storage area, as I call it. Also keep a cover in that storage area so I'll always know where it is. Just try to guess on where the center weight is. The Harbor Freight strap or any of these cinch straps, I just cut it short with scissors, cut it in an angle heat it so it doesn't shred and that helps give it a point of being able to turn it to catch and push through. I don't, you don't have to get it tight because all it's doing is just load bearing. Just get the center point, take it to the camp. Paper towel is off. Right 
now it goes in reverse. Inside shelf first. One thing to be concerned, or one thing to note is the legs kind of have to lift up to unlock that latch. Be careful as this swings up because it can get your, can't get you a little bit. Again, going in reverse. Outdoor, Master Cook Outdoor, foldable, portable camp kitchen table. GCI Outdoor Master Cook portable folding cook table and camp table. Camp table. Um, GCI Master, Master Cook Outdoor Kitchen Camp Portable Folding Camp Table. <laughs> it's a long name. We, I had, we I get add it words wrong. to it every time because it, I, it's so amazing. I had, you know, it's a great table. I just add more stuff to it, more words to it. It's our master cook table for our master cook over here. Hey, Walters. Jason, please. Hey, Walters. We have the GCI outdoor. Camp, outdoor camp. Hey Wilders, today we have the GCI Outdoor Master Cook Outdoor Folding Camp Kitchen. So there you have it, our Master Cook really likes his Master Cook Camp Folding Table. GCI Outdoors. GCI Outdoors.